Warning, this is an expert level guide. This guide assumes you are already an expert of Don't Starve, and it also assumes you are playing Wolfgang. But it should probably work on almost every character. Hey guys, it's Keyboard again. Today's guide is going to be on the ruins. This is by far the most difficult, but it's also the most rewarding area of the entire game. So first, we got to prepare for the ruins. So what you're going to want is about 1200 healing points worth of food or healing items. I personally take about 60 blue mushrooms, just because it's the fastest. Then you want a ham bat, or a few dark swords. 11 football helmets. You can also use 5 to 6 Wigfried helmets instead if you so choose. I usually just carry the items to make the helmets with me. And you're also going to want 2 lanterns in case a Splamonkey steals a lantern. An entire stack of light bulbs to refuel your lanterns. A backpack or Krampus sack equipped so you can carry all the loot and anything you need to make tools. This will usually be a stack of twigs, grass, and gold, or flint, and then some rocks. So next there's a few mechanics of the ruins you have to know about. There's the calm, warning, and nightmare phases. And these are equivalent to the day cycle of the, on the surface. Calm is most like day. It's dark, but nothing is really out to attack you except a few weaker creatures, such as clockworks. The warning phase is how it sounds. It's most like dusk, and it's just trying to warn you of the phase change. It acts the same as the phase before it, so if the warning phase is warning you of it becoming a nightmare phase soon, it will act the same as calm. If it is warning you that it will be the calm phase soon, it will act as nightmare phase. Nightmare phase. This is most like nighttime. Everything around you will try and kill you. The spill monkeys will become shadow spill monkeys, and these are by far the most dangerous enemy in the game because they always group up. On top of this, every nightlight or nightmare fissure will start to spawn nightmare creatures, which also make the area more dangerous. And on top of all that, if you mine the Thulacite statues, then it will spawn a nightmare creature upon being broken in the nightmare phase. Try and avoid that phase. Next, you have to find the ruins. If you're playing Don't Starve Together, it will always be connected to a muddy floored light flower area. You will know it's the ruins when you see lichen. If you are in Don't Starve Regular, you're looking for a Thulacite cave entrance guarded by many cave spider dens. Mind that and go down into it. This is the ruins entrance. Now that you've made it into the ruins, you will want to find the military or sacred biomes, or both if you're lucky. While trying to find these, avoid spell monkeys. They will steal your items off the ground, such as your lantern, which is why you should have two of these. And they may also steal your helmet off the ground if a slurper attaches itself to you. Fun fact, slurpers don't respawn. So if you want to kill them for the belt of hunger, make sure you repair it. Back on topic, the military and sacred biomes are the ones with clockworks and tons of shadow creatures. Wait until the calm phase or warning phase, the one where it swaps from nightmare to calm but not the other way around. This way you only have to fight the clockworks. To kill the clockworks, you hold Control F and tank them, as you should have enough armor and healing food for this to be the most efficient possibility. Oftentimes, there will be piles of broken clockworks next to them, which you will want to break down with a hammer, or run a clockwork work rook into if you're lucky enough to have one next to you. If these are ancient statues, you will also want to mine those. If in normal Don't Starve, you can relog to change the gem. Collect all the loot, it is all useful. After you've cleared out the clockworks, you then will want to build a magiluminescence amulet at an ancient pseudoscience machine, as it is easily the best item you can make in the ruins and can be repaired with nightmare fuel. Something to keep in mind is that the ancient pseudoscience station doesn't have to be repaired to craft this amulet. Fifth, you're going to want to kill the ancient guardian. If you find the labyrinth, make your way to the center of the labyrinth, avoiding the spiders by walking on the land closest to the void, taking any chests you want, and finally getting to the center. The Ancient Guardian is easy enough. You want to get him stuck on any unbreakable structure and hold Control F. He won't be able to hit you, so you can easily cheat this fight. Sixth is escaping the ruins. <laughs> this is the hardest part, as the Nightmare Phase will most likely activate by this time. This means the Shadow Spell Monkeys will attack you, and you will be chased by a group of 5 to 10 Nightmares. It's too much crap to fight. On top of this, there could be slurpers that try to attack you, which will instantly remove your helmet if they succeed. Just keep running towards the entrance to the ruins, and run as fast as possible. If it isn't in Nightmare Phase, however, go ahead and grab 20 to 30 Lycan on your way out, 
These count as vegetables in the crock pot, and you can bundling wrap it for later if in Don't Starve Together. At this point, you have not completely cleared out the ruins, but you have cleared out a good amount of it. This will make it easier to rinse and repeat or build a base down there if you choose so, which I've got a video on. If you click on the top right of the screen, you can check that out. Did you like the video? Please hit the like button then. Did you really like the video? Hit the Wolfgang icon on the screen to subscribe. Did you hate this video? A lot of you guys do. Uh, hit the dislike and tell me why. Willow is the best character in the comments. No, actually, it's Wes. Thank you very much.